Hello! Fear the Meerkat here, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Bankman. So, we're heading into the kitchen now. So, I have had an idea. And since we can't use the bucket for no apparent reason in the water storage tank, well, oh, okay, obviously we can. Fair enough. I'm just gonna have to check my map though. Um, okay, I'm not quite sure. Oh, wait, yes, I am. I now have to get outside. Okay, at last we've reached outside. This is actually a pretty hard place to navigate. That really doesn't look like water to me. Most water is not that green, weird, or that weird pattern on it. And whilst we're there, we can see if anything else interesting has uh, ended up in here. Alright, can't look at that. And... Apparently, um, there were items that you... Yeah, I guess they must be key items. Well, so far all of the items are looking like key items, but obviously there's something special with these two items. Maybe they're items that you actually get to keep forever. I don't know. I'm just kind of looking for stuff to say here, to be honest. Here, Keith. Hey, nice work finding it. Thanks. That's a weird ring there. Seems pretty misshapen. Yeah, because it's handmade. Me and my son. You made a ring with your son? Why? Precocious little guy wanted a ring for a Mother's Day gift. So I bought him a kit, and we made it together. Kinda messed it up, though. As you can see, it's too big even for me. I gave my wife a remade one, and took the mistake. It's kinda like a good luck charm. <laughs> That's cute. How old's your kid? Would be ten, if he were alive. Sorry. For what? I, I mean, um, just thought you might not want to talk to people about it. Uh, why did he die? Traffic accident. Uh, um, my dad died when I was young, too. From heart failure. Uh, accidents and illnesses, um... There's just nothing you can do, you know? So, uh, don't let it get you down. I, I, I mean, no, that's not... What I want to say is, uh... Let me guess. You're trying to comfort me. Yes, I'm doing it pretty badly. I don't think Keith really wants him to do that. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, you don't have to worry about me, kid. I appreciate the thought, though. Hello. Obviously, I'm... Well, do I really need to tell you that I'm cutting out bits that uh, aren't helpful? Might as well check this out again. 
Oh, actually, no. I'll, I'll be completely honest here. I know that I'm supposed to take out this again. I didn't... I... I did look at the strategy guide. I'm not happy about it, but I did, because I had no idea where to go. And apparently uh, the ring is supposed to trigger something in here. Well, I can't see him. I've got a horrible feeling that's not the right hiding place. That's the trouble with these hey, 2D show places. It's kind of uh, hard to work I out. Know you're there. Where I was really hiding, where it isn't. Give me a damn break. Over there! Show yourself already! Ah! Huh? You, you were. Who in the world? I'm the guy who's not very good at hiding. That have one in the game, I feel, so hi. Who who are you? Why are you here? Hey! Answer me! You you were Well, this is a surprise. Didn't expect I'd see you here, Robert. Okay, I don't know who Robert is. Um, I'm saying that because most of the characters who've unexpectedly turned up have been from other games, but I really don't know who Robert is. I thought you were staying at the hotel. What happened to that subordinate I assigned to guard you? What? Eric? He fell asleep in the car. Can't get the help these days. More importantly, why are you here? Maybe I'm thinking the same thing you are. Huh? Will, leave. That would be my pleasure. Be quick about it. I am an awful hider. Okay, time to head to the basement, I guess. Alright, if we're on the first floor, the basement's obviously going to be at the opposite um, end of this thing. Might take me a minute to find it. Ah, yes. I was hoping it would be this. Not sure why he didn't try this before, but never mind. I suppose he didn't really have a reason to. Like, he didn't really have a reason to run the water out of the storage tank. Isn't it? I'm Robert Hayes. Sorry if I gave you a fright earlier. Ah, oh, it's okay. Sorry that I'm bad at hiding. So, why are you here? By here, I mean this facility. I thought I'd wait out the snow with my friend in here. 
but we got separated, so I'm looking for him. Is that it? Well, I think you should leave soon. It's snowing badly today. What's your relationship with that detective? Uh, generally hiding, writing the snow out, and going back into the snow because it's snowing a lot. Don't, uh, don't go together. They kind of cancel each other out. I only just met him earlier. What about you? You know him? He came to me three days ago for an investigation of a murder that took place a week ago. Oh, don't worry. I'm not the culprit, of course. Though it seems that detective is still suspicious, so he was stubbornly questioning me. So there was a murder? A certain man was killed in an apartment room. Another tenant noticed and reported it, since the stench was awful after three days. Why did he come to question you? Did you know the guy who was killed? Who knows? It beats me. The police just ask questions. They don't tell you a thing. Why did you come here, Robert? I used to live here long ago. Did you know that after the hospital was shut down, it was turned into a shelter? Yeah, I know. I also heard five people were killed here 15 years ago. Why would you come to a place like that? There's no denying it's a dirty, creepy place. But I did spend a short time here as a child. I just felt like reminiscing about the old days. Fat chance. Huh? Nothing. Will, you came to find your friend, yes? You'd better find him soon. It's going to get dark. I suppose I should go, too. See you, Will. Doctor. All right. You could catch a cold staying here for too long. Maybe I should tell Ed, too. What did you just say? Uh? I asked what you said. Did you meet him? St stop it! Don't touch me! Let go! You know, this could have something to do with why the detective was suspicious of you. Pop? A uh, rat? What's with this thing? D disgusting! Leave me alone! Y you damn rat! Sheesh! What was that? I am quite a tree species. On my friend! I'll beat the shit out of you, you bastard! Friend? What? What? What are you saying? You asshole! You killed my friend! Get over I here! I told you to get I'm gonna home, beat Robert. the shit out of you for what did you did. I may be a kid, was but you are rat? dead. Will's I will don't beat the shit out of, out of my you. Sight. You this asshole! You up. killed my friend! Get over here! I'm gonna. <laughs> will, calm down. It's okay. Breathe slow. To be fair, Keith seems like the sort of guy who, rather harsh though he can be, would be good at calming someone down. <laughs> he, he squished Pop! He squished Pop! It's my fault! It's because I brought Pop along! It's my fault! He died! I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry, Pop! Was that really your rat? Huh? Your rat's got a crooked right leg, with some of the fur missing, doesn't he? This one's leg isn't crooked. Also, it's got a pattern on its back. Really? You shouldn't look. It's just a wild rat, but I bet you don't want to see its guts. It attacked Robert, though. I wonder why. Maybe he had some food on him. At any rate, good thing it wasn't your rat. Hey, Keith. Is Robert a killer? He ran his mouth, did he? He really doesn't listen to anything people tell him. 
Nah. In fact, he's a victim. That's why I had my subordinate guard him. Will, don't get too deep in this. You just find Pop and get back to David's place. Got that? I know that. Again, I don't really know what to say. How do they? this because that seems to be the pattern that you've developed here. Dear S. Doctor, how do you do? I've placed a present on your desk. Isn't that just adorable? I'd be happy if you treated it well. Ah, Stanley. Dear S. Doctor, how do you do? It seems you forgot your gift, so I put it on your desk. Please, think of me and talk it with you. I lost Stanley. Dearest Doctor, you forgot your gift and I left it there again. Please don't lose it again this time. Alice Stanley. Dearest Doctor, so you hate the sight of my face. I heard you talking to Dr. Woods. Well, this should do now, shouldn't it? This time, don't lose it. And take care of it. Alice Stanley. Why do you throw it? Quick, why, why do you so quickly throw it away? I even took away that ugly face. How about this time? I'm quite proud of my hair. Alice. So, maybe this is the headless doll? Don't abandon me. Stay with me. Something we can take with us does something, I guess, but helps to give some backstory. This is fine with me. Okay. Not sure where to go here. I'm gonna have a quick look back in here. Once I find Pop and take care of everything. I'll come back to bury you. Until then, sorry. You never know. That might trigger something later. It would surprise me, but it might. be doing this. But I've done and it turns out that this is telling me which locker 
to that I would find the piece of torn clothing in and apparently there's another piece of torn clothing I'm supposed to get as well. My guess would be that the 6x3 uh, uh, grid there with the red thing in the in the middle of it um, third from the left um, middle one is telling me which where which locker I will find it in which means that there's several other pieces here and apparently one of them is in the dining room and after that, I have to try to find the others, hopefully without needing any help. So, go back to the dining room. Okay, looks like at least one more of these to go, which I guess probably means it's in one of these lower places. I really will tell you if I'm using the strategy guide or not, just because I think you deserve to know whether I'm doing that or not. Some people think it's cheating, so... And hopefully the dice will come in useful later. So, that would be all of the circles here. One of these 3x6 grids appears to be blank. The other one has these four uh, tri uh, not triangles, what am I talking about? Rectangles on it. So, I'm going to find these rectangles in uh, one of these. Uh, underground sort of places here. These, well, I don't think they're underground. I think maybe rats be at the top of the building. But okay, that's going to lead out. I'll see you in a minute. Ah, four rectangles. Three five G one four two. Okay, this looks simple enough. No. Ah, I see. Yes. <laughs> so you literally have to roll it in that order. And if you do it, then it, or not roll, get it so that it's it's in that position. Basically, yeah. Hopefully, you saw what I had, what I did there. Hello, my name is Sergio Bow Bowers. Dustin, since I'm quitting my job here, I'm writing this letter. Working in Building 3, I've been very glad for your kindness because I was hated in Building 4. A patient named Kenny hated me especially. He always sought handshakes from everyone, 
yet when I passed through, they always drew back. Thank you for always being friendly with me. Incidents will always give gifts, so I'll give you the name tag I always wore. I hope you'll remember me. I'd like to meet you again on the outside. Take care. Okay, well, not really sure if I've got the name tag on, but presumably this will trigger something. I want to see the latter again. Sergio Bowers. I wonder. Okay, I'm not sure what to do with this Sergio Bowers thing. Okay, I'm going to end the episode there. I don't know how long it's been going on for for you, but for me it's been going on for quite some time. I will see you in the next episode.